Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Super Sentai Zhu Ranger DVD set. I've actually had this one for a long time, and this review has been a long time coming. I actually got it when I broke my arm. Um, so this is actually released by Showed Factory. It's a 10-disc set, and unlike the Power Ranger sets, which are all long, like, seven, eight, nine, even ten episode discs. This is all five. Uh, five episodes per disc. So if you got like about a hundred minutes or so a day, you can just sit down and watch this. It's a fairly good show. Um, for those of you who don't know, Zhu Ranger is actually what they based the original suit, uh, like the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on. Actually on the back you can kind of see the suits. Plus Saber Tiger. Very awesome. And it actually does come with a special feature. The special feature is basically, it's called Power Progenitors, Super uh, Sentai Zero Ranger Power Morphicon 2015, uh, 2014 panel. Um, basically, there are a few people who were kind of involved with it, plus the actors for uh, Geki, who was Tyranno Ranger, the Red Ranger, and Dry, who was Dragon Ranger, the Green Ranger, um, who I thought was actually a really good character, a lot better than Tommy. Um, in terms of video, this thing's actually pretty crisp, which is really good considering this show actually was um, made in 1992. Um, Story wise, it's again better because even though it's about five warriors from 170 million years ago who have been sealed away, it's actually more believable than a big giant head choosing five teenagers to stop a sorceress. Um, in terms of su subtitle work, which is the main kind of thing I imagine most people are wondering about this. It's actually pretty good. Um, I have been watching fan subs for a fairly long time. I think started early 2008. Um, basically the first Kamen Rider series I watched weekly was Kiva and the first Super Sentai series I watched well. Actually no, it's been almost 10 years because I actually got into it right at the end of Bokinger. But I was watching most of it on YouTube until I actually got high speed internet in 2008. I was living in the country, we didn't have anything better until then. Sorry. Anyway, in terms of translations, it actually is fairly decent. They do get some stuff wrong, but it's a lot better than some other things I've seen. Plus, this was actually a precursor to uh, basically, they use this as a test bed. Um, to see how the Super Sentai series would do here on DVD. And it actually did well enough because in a few months they're going to be releasing the series after this one, Die Ranger, which is what they used for Season 2. Now, I like to get into a little more personal thing. When I first heard about this set, I was a little worried because one, if you've been in any decent fan sub communities, you know once something that they've been releasing has been licensed, they will pull the project, and if they're working on the project, they will kill it. Um, mainly because of legal fears, but I think because they think it's probably the right thing to do. Um, so when they did this, I thought this was actually going to be the end of fan subs as a whole. But then I started thinking, what if they actually this was actually the end of Power Rangers? What if these became so popular they stopped making, well, they probably won't stop making Power Rangers, but what if they actually started, like, releasing sub versions of current Super Sentai series? Like, who knows, maybe soon we'll be seeing Ninja on, well, let's say Nick, because, well, Nick does Power Rangers and, yeah. But I've always been a, more of a Super Sentai fan than a Power Ranger fan because, well, frankly, Power Rangers has become a bit of a joke. And even 
the series that were pretty good, the Super Sentai series were just better. Sorry, all Re Ranger fans. I am a um, Sentai purist. Word was in there. I just had to get it out. Sorry. Um, so I highly recommend this set, um, especially if you're a Power Ranger fan and like a die-hard Power Ranger fan. Like if you're just, I actually have run into a few people who have said they were Power Ranger fans, and then when I started talking about Super Sentai, they go, "What's that?" And I've had to explain it a few times. Like, well, Power Rangers is actually based off this show, and that's where they get everything from. Um, I've actually got my fiance starting to watch this right now. She's seen a few things of Drive and a few things of Ninja, and she's liked it. She's actually into Dino Charge right now quite a bit. So eventually I want to show her uh, the original Kyoruger because even though Dino Charge is pretty good, I still think Kyoruger is better. And forgive me if I butcher that name. I always have trouble with it. I hope I'm not the only one. But I am definitely looking forward to getting all these sets. Um, hopefully they will release all through the current Power Ranger series and beyond. Um, hopefully they will actually release Go Busters as a lost um, series because as of now I don't think they're going to be doing a Power Ranger version of Go Busters which sucks because Go Busters was so cool. Um, so this actually ran me about 40 bucks which isn't bad considering it's a 10 disc set an entire series. Pretty good. Um, if you want to actually see inside really quick, you get like little pictures and that. All the discs are the same, they just say disc 1, disc 2. But, part of me hopes that this won't be the end of fan subbing, but maybe something better, because right now, especially with the new Power Ranger movie coming out, which is kind of, well, it's the same with the new Star Wars movie, you know, I'm kind of excited for it, but then again, somehow, deep down, I know they're going to screw it up. So, I hope that you're going to pick this up. It is a good set. So I hope you enjoyed this video review. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, whatever you want. Um, I'm always open to everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.